What would I do if I knew I was dying? Oh boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katherine Norland. I recently rented the movie One Week, written and directed by Michael McGow and starring Joshua Jackson. The synopsis sounded interesting and I've been a Joshua Jackson fan since the TV show Fringe. It was sort of a soul-searching journey about how he lived his life up until the day he found out he was dying and what he wanted to do with the rest of his life, as if he only had one week to live. Now, being raised watching American movies, I am programmed to want a happy ending. In other words, the couples get together or stay together or figure out their differences, and they continue to love each other, even if it deviates a bit from their ultimate fairy tale life. Now, his fiance wasn't that bad. She had a few annoying habits, but when he realizes he's got a limited amount of time left on the earth, he doesn't want that life, being married to her, as being part of his fate. His parents and his fiance were so worried about him, they didn't know how close he was. And he wouldn't call them, he wouldn't tell them where he was. And I remember thinking while watching it, what a selfish jerk! Well, you know the writer is brilliant when I'm feeling something and he's got me talking to the TV. <laughs> And then I got really mad when he cheated on her and left her. I got so upset at the movie and its stupid ending that I thought about it for the rest of the night. But not long before bed it hit me. How many decisions do we make in life based on what others want us to do? Based on others' happiness? Based on what is the status quo? What is the accepted norm? How many dreams and desires do we put down, shove down, and think we have to just suck it up and accept it. We live a life of being comfortable and for most of us that means compromising on what we would really do if we knew we only had one week left to live. We take life for granted and we think it will always be there. Like we can continue to put our dreams on the shelf indefinitely that we'll trek across the country on motorcycle one day. We'll settle down and get married one day. We'll write that novel we've been thinking about. We'll fill in the blank. But we aren't promised tomorrow. Yes, maybe there could have been, I don't know, a better way he went about changing his mind and letting the people who loved him know. But ultimately, living a life filled with regret is no way to live at all. Each day you put down what you feel in your heart, you die a little bit more. We've got to grab this life with gusto, throw caution to the wind, and ride that lightning bolt until it electrocutes us or sends us flying to our destination. One last question. What would you do right now, this very moment, if you knew you only had one week to live?